Cheese and crackers, this place is filthy with free stuff. Might as well keep what I find, otherwise wild Pokemon are probably just going to eat it and wind up choking. Drink up. Good thing all a wild Pokemon needs to recover from a vicious beating is a little nap. I'd feel terrible if that wasn't the case, which it definitely is. Wow Victor, you're so strong already. I bet you could even beat a grass type like that piece of bubblegum with leaves sticking out of it. Oopsie doodles, my hubris. Nemi, where's the nearest Pokemon center? Poor Victor is hurt and he isn't wild so he can't just sleep it off. Oh, if your Pokemon are getting tired out, I can heal them for ya. Why do you say Pokemon like that? It's sort of an inside joke. Between you and who? Just me. And you too now. Round two you horrible hot pip. And this time we're taking you on together. Okay. Really? How anticlimactic. All it did was bounce around. And here I thought we'd found our antagonist for this part of our story. Another one in the bag. Or maybe I should say another one unconscious in the grass, where hungry birds definitely won't find it. Hello there. Have at you. Oh no, it's electric. I should have guessed from the circles on its cheeks and the yellow in its color scheme. Thank goodness wild Pokemon don't seem to understand the concept of type advantages. Just a few more battles and we'll get back on our way to school, right Victor? Victor. My word. He's already become so bloodthirsty. I've never been more proud honestly. Wow. I've been having so much fun helping Victor become a butt-kicking machine that I've forgotten where Nemi said to meet her. Oh right. Hey Valencia. You getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Well, I mean, I haven't found- Let me see. So far you've caught- It's still just Quaxley. Oh okay. What was that? I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around Valencia. You want to fight it because it sounds powerful, don't you? Yeah, I do. Just be careful. There's a kinda unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. But I love caves. Did that noise come from the beach? Let's see. Nothing there. What is that? Oh no my footing. Save me please. Phew. Oh my gosh. Are those punk rock puppies? Wait you too. I mean, stay. Sit. Darn it they're already gone. Wow. It occurs to me in this moment that my mum literally saved my life by giving me a new phone today. She can never know that of course. She'd have a nervous breakdown if she found out I fell off a cliff on my way to school. Say, are you alright over there? You haven't moved since I fell off that cliff. Goodness. You're looking a bit under the weather, aren't you? Hang on one moment. Here. Mum always says curry is the cure for what ails you, so, I'll let you have my curry sandwich if you'd like. I can just buy myself lunch in town, I'm pretty sure. Are my fingers? Just kidding. Maybe. One, two, three, ten. Yes, still all there. Wow. Mum was right about curry being like a potion. I wonder if she's secretly a curry witch or something. What? 
Ooh, there's a cave. I love those. You find all the best mushrooms and guano in them. Oh my! You can change forms to give yourself a cool hat. Slay! Oh bother, wait! I could actually use some help, and... Right. I think I'm going to be late to school. <laughs> 